ambitious. Someone once told me that I was over ambitious. I don't think there's anything like that though. So don't listen to them. You can never be too over ambitious. My name is Stephanie Coker. I am 27 years old. I know you didn't ask me, but I'm gonna tell you just because I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I moved to England when I was one years old. So yeah, I haven't really known much other than that place until I moved back to Nigeria when I was 24, 25 years, 23 years old. So I've been in Nigeria and Lagos um, to be specific for about four years. And yeah, I went to Bruno University in Uxbridge and I studied media and communications, hence why I'm in showbiz, I guess. When I moved to Nigeria, I was like, oh yay, new experience, you know, it's gonna be fun. And first of all, I got struck by traffic. Then it was the probability game with the electricity, which was, a, yeah, it was fun, I guess. You know, having to wake up early, iron your clothes. It kind of made me a bit more organized, I would say. And then also I stayed in an area that was um, a bit, Vib oh no, it was very vibrant, should I say. It was in Ebutimetha. I wanted to stay in like really experienced Lagos. So yeah, I, that happened and that was really good. That was fun. Then I moved to the island, of course, where everybody else is, where it's just a bit, it's a bit boring because everyone just does, you know, the same thing over and over again. It's not that exciting, but I guess it's a bit, it's become the norm. Um, yeah, so that's a bit about me and my background and a bit about my move to Nigeria. But there's lots more stories I could tell, trust me. The proudest moment of my career so far, I think would be, oh, my first day on The Voice. Yeah, cause that was just such a, it's such a major gig. And I was just so excited to be chosen to be one of the hosts. So uh, my first day was like, oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. This is what I've been working towards, like these kind of projects and things like that. And then also I would say another proud moment was when I got signed to a talent agency in Los Angeles. It's um, one of the biggest talent agencies in America, in the world actually. And like the likes of Jamie Foxx and Sharon Stone are on the roster. So it just makes me feel like, mama, I've almost made it. Hopefully I don't break his taxi. Mm. Well, I don't know why I decided to move to Nigeria. I mean, I thought it was, yeah, but okay. Obviously you have more of an impact here. You're a black, which is like good. <laughs> so you're not like the token black girl. Cause once you're, in, in the UK, once there's one of you, you, there's not really room for like four, five, six of you. It doesn't work like that. So I thought like, okay, I can have more, more of an impact here. I can inspire people. I, I have a, more of a story to tell, you know, a different experiences here that I'll go through. So I thought that would be, you know, a, a good thing. Um, but I just, I just like change. I just like to move. I just like adventure. And I just felt like this is home. So why not start with Nigeria? The voice is amazing. It doesn't even feel like work. It feels like just, oh, it just feels like having a good time, with, but just having lines to read. But um, yeah, it's, it's great. I love working with IK. I love the talent on set as well. It's just amazing to see that Nigeria has so much talent. And also it's just great to be able to interact with different people and just learn more about their life experiences. And also it's just like a journey. You're going on a journey with these kids. So it's like, sad when they have to leave and sad when they don't get picked but it's, it's such an uplifting show as well i attribute my success to talent um yes i know talent is overrated but i genuinely believe that presenting for me is something that is god-given i feel like it's just a talent that i have that it's, it's, it's innate I, did, I didn't really practice I, I mean I did go to training and whatnot and all that but I just feel like it's just a lot to do with my personality and the kind of person that I am and I think that helps me a lot of my work so I think I would definitely have to attribute my talent to success and of course hard work and persistence and I'm a very I try to be very positive in everything that I do and also ambition as well I would say that I'm quite ambitious someone once told me that I was over ambitious. I don't think there's anything like that though. So don't listen to them. You can never be too over ambitious. Sky's the limit. Sky's not even the limit. You could go to the Bermuda Triangle if you want, but you might not come back. But um, yeah, <laughs> you you could definitely achieve whatever you set out, you set yourself up to achieve. Um, 
I, yeah, I would say talent, ambition, and hard work. Always be yourself. An original is worth more than a counterfeit. So don't try and be like me. I mean, <laughs> I know, you wanna be like, I'm just joking. But I think you can be better than you know me. I feel like you, um, you, you have to first of all realize what it is you really want to do and go after it and also remember to just stay true to yourself don't let anyone unless it's constructive criticism don't let anyone tell you that you must sound a certain way if that's not how you you um feel comfortable you don't you shouldn't necessarily be told to look a certain way either so don't try and modify what you've been given just be yourself because one day someone will actually accept you and hire you for who you are so this is my advice, I hope it works.